Welcome back to Dude We Can Fix It. Today, we're gonna be working on the Dirty Dually, which is a 6.5 turbo diesel. Big shout out to Marcus G. Mast for selling me this. It's a Kennedy Diesel Tune EEPROM for a 1994 6.5 turbo diesel. And that's what we're going to be installing today. So, we'll start by opening the hood and disconnecting the two batteries. By the way, check out my wastegate actuator system here. This is my homemade turbo, turbo master of sorts. See this guy here, I'm gonna pump it up and it will hold that wastegate actuator closed. I'll pump this up to 25 inches of mercury there. It's a pretty solid vacuum and that'll hold my wastegate shut. It's just plumbed directly into the uh, wastegate actuator down there, just vacuum tubing. All right, let's disconnect these batteries, shall we? What's great about electricity is all you gotta do is break continuity somewhere and your goal will be accomplished. So this is a 5 16th wrench specifically for GM side post batteries. Uh, what I'm gonna do is disconnect the negative side of both of these batteries. Disconnected. We'll disconnect the other side. Now we will verify that the power is off. Yep, no juice. Perfect. So next, we will open up the glove compartment. Take out all this good stuff. Now it looks like we will need probably like an eight millimeter socket to take these two bolts out. Turns out that it's actually a seven millimeter socket. Computer in there. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect all these electrical wiring harnesses. Ooh, that's brittle. I just slide this whole unit towards the back of the truck. And wiggle it out of here. Huh? It looks to be that this has uh, been remanufactured. Interesting. This little panel here is what we have to access. I'm gonna bring this in the shop and take this Torx bit out. All right, so this is a T15 Torx bit. There we go. Now we will take out this EEPROM. Squeeze the tabs a little bit. Comes right out. Now we'll drop in our performance EEPROM. Make sure it's lined up the same way. And we'll pop that in there. Make sure it's in there good. That's our stock prom. Got our performance prom in there. Set this panel back in place. Pop our T15 screw back in. There you go, it doesn't need to be super tight. Now it's ready to reinstall in the truck. All right, so these prongs will go in first. There's some slots in there for them. And then these tabs will slide over the tray on this end. You gotta wiggle it into place a little bit, but you see it's it's in there pretty firmly now. Yeah, these tabs here, you can normally just pull in here, but you see these are pretty much just breaking off as I'm doing this, so it is what it is. Also, if your uh, blower stops working, check this guy here. A lot of times this connector will get burnt up, this large red wire. Uh, you may just wanna redo it, side note. All right, so let's reconnect these. Now we will reinstall this. Put the bottom in first. And push it in. We'll reinstall our two seven millimeter bolts. There we go. It's all back in place. The batteries are reconnected. Let's see if she'll start up on the first try. Uh oh, I may need to bleed some air out of the system. If y'all don't know, the uh, Hastings filter cartridges for these trucks, absolute trash. I would never buy them again. They're so tight that you can't just untwist it by hand. You have to have some channel locks or pliers. Garbage. Let's try it again. <laughs>
turn and run here, huh? I'll give it to it. Dirty Dooley. I'll say the Dirty Dooley's never run so fast. I'm thoroughly impressed. Alright. Dirty Dooley from zero. And go. Second gear. Sorry, I don't like letting it get much over 3,000. But... Acceleration's not bad. Well guys, that's all there is to it. That's how you change out the EEPROM in your early 90s 6.5 GMC or Chevy turbo diesel. It's definitely the most cost effective upgrade you can do. So changing out your EEPROM or your computer tune, depending on your year, is definitely the most cost effective performance option that you have. Uh, check out some of the other videos. I'm compiling an entire playlist specifically for the 6.5 turbo diesel, simple, cheap upgrades, free upgrades, and then of course we're going to get into the more expensive ones as well. But if you have any interest in doing that and you want a good video tutorial on how to, uh, check out our channel, Dude We Can Fix It. We'll have a playlist specifically for 6.5 turbo diesels. I hope this video is useful and entertaining to you. Please check in for some more, and as always, Dude We Can Fix It. Let's see if she starts right back up, huh? Mm.